it's not how much you earn or which kind of career you are in but your life is mostly dependent upon what kind of relationships you have with people is it a wise idea to study masters in economics from isi msqe after 4 years of gap or 3 years of gap to understand the answer to this question you have to go back in your profile and you will have to understand what kind of skills do you bring into your profile and for a future employer or an institution let's say you want to do a phd after masters so first you have to understand what are your skills as in strengths are they suited towards a particular kind of a place are they suited towards a research institution are they suited towards a phd program are they suited towards an employer like an it company or a consulting company or a finance firm or an investment banking firm so we have to list down your strengths or skills and then you have to understand what kind of interest you have in maths economics and programming because these are the things which will be heavily used in the curriculum and as well after you graduate from this curriculum no matter what you do maths economics and programming out of these three one or two or sometimes even all three might be useful for you so you have to understand where do you stand in these three things now having said that you also have to understand that there are certain personal milestones in everyone's journey so a person who is a 26 year old is very different than a someone who is a 32 year old so where do you lie in that bracket age bracket now why that age bracket is important is because most people have their personal goals or personal milestones with respect to their age now you could be different and your personal goals might not have any relationship with the age barrier or the age thresholds then it's good for you but still also you must have some kind of a clarity about your personal life certain level of clarity that what you want to achieve as far as your personal life is concerned now that would be very important to understand are you willing to sacrifice your two years in a full time program and maybe you would have to prepare for getting into the program so take give or take 5 to 6 months maybe you'll have to give one year because let's say you start preparing from the month of september or october of uh, this year then next year uh, around 6 7 months will be passed when you give the isa exam but let's say you start preparing for this exam now then you have one more year so considering this take 5 to 6 months to one year window this is the window which you need before getting into isi so anything between 2 years to 3 years is the time which you have to commit so in this 2 to 3 years of time window you will have to forego a certain amount of revenue as in income because let's say you are coming from a 3 to 4 years of a career gap so definitely there are some financial responsibilities or financial concerns in your mind so how do you address them because in this 2 to 3 years of a gap you might not be earning good amount of money these are the things which you have to first put on your piece of paper brainstorm and then lay them down that what is the more important thing for you which is driving you and let's say if you consider all of them you get an idea that you no know, you can willingly sacrifice next 2 to 3 years because you will get a good masters education and you have a good prospect of getting a good job in the field which you are interested in and especially your skills are also in tune in line with them so you see transferable skills are very important so that is why your skills are important here so with these things in mind you'll have a clarity that this is why i want to prepare and get into masters and i want to study economics msqe from isi kolkata or isi delhi no matter you can debate which one is better it's true bsc igid or isi but if you get into isi your fees is gone you get a stipend that's really a great thing you if you're coming from a gap of 2 to 3 years or 4 years and somebody tells you that you have a program where you don't have to pay any fees rather we will give you stipend how cool is that how blissful is that
and there are many things about isi which will make you feel good about yourself this will give you a good career boost and there are not many places which offer you similar level of career prospects as well as education and yes you will have to consider other people in your life because ultimately when you are in let's say your late 20s or maybe even early 30s there are chances that you are not the only one who is going to be affected by your career choices there will be other people as well so ask them no matter how much you like economics or maths those personal considerations are also very important in life because ultimately it's not how much you earn or what kind of career you are in but your life is mostly dependent upon what kind of relationships you have with people